Question 20a, part 1. Factorise x squared minus 12x plus 27. So if we're asked to factorise, that means we're looking for brackets. And because we have x squared in there, we're dealing with a quadratic, which instantly tells me that I'm going to be needing two sets of brackets. Because there's just x squared, that's nice and easy, so we just put an x in each bracket, and then we're just looking for the missing values. Now, easy rules to remember are that we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us this positive 27, but add to give minus 12. You could do this through trial and error, maybe you can see it straight away. Just from looking at this question, I'd say that two numbers that multiply to give me 27 would have to be 9 and 3. Now at this moment it doesn't matter which way around they go, because we've just got an x in each bracket anyway. But to make this number negative when they're both added together, both of these would have to be negative also. So our fully factorised form is x minus 9 multiplied by x minus 3. Part 2 asks us to solve the equation of x squared minus 12x plus 27 equals 0. Now because we factorised this, put it into two brackets, to make this equal to 0, each of these brackets has to become 0 as well. The only way to do that would be to either make x equal to 9, because 9 take away 9 is 0, so that's one of our possible solutions. So we have x equals 9. Or we could have x equal to 3, because that would make that bracket 0, and therefore the whole equation equals 0. So there are two possible solutions. Part B says factorise y squared, subtract 100. Now there's no multiple of y in the middle there, so this one becomes, again, a very easy one if you can remember the pattern. Because we have a quadratic that we're factorising, there's two brackets. Because we have a single y squared, it means we have to have y at the beginning of each bracket. I want two numbers that will multiply together to give me negative 100, but add to give me nothing. Now the only way that can actually happen is if we have positive 10 and a negative 10.